Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video right here, man, we're going to attempt to get this gear shifter, automatic floor shifter in this little truck. I started on it mocking things up and seeing what all had to be done, so let's just get it and get up under there and uh, show you what I ran into. Okay, so first off, I got that little shifter rod there lever sitting up in here. As you can tell, it's not gonna miss the uh, speedo cable. Uh, so we're gonna have to cut it off. And I'm thinking even on that last hole right there, when it swings forward to shift, it's gonna hit that anyway. So it looks like we're gonna have to cut it off right above that last hole, pop another hole in that thing and then wonder if it's still gonna have enough throw, you know, to do the shifting thing up there. Next, this is the piece they sent to mount to the transmission. And the destruction say, let me get you up in there. This thing is supposed to just clip on that rod that's already there. Okay, there's no way possible because um, at this angle you're not going to be able to shift it the up and if we go in the front you still got the same problem so looks like instead of going by the directions or the destructions we're going to have to take that off take this off it's got some little a little hole in there where you can I don't know if you can see it I think it will mount to the actual stud, shifter stud coming out of that transmission. We will just have to see when we get there. So there's my problem so far. And getting those two little bolts in that thing up there. Focus, focus. I'll get you up in there there. It is no easy task. It looks like it's gonna hit that bolt, but it's not because that's as far back as it goes. It just goes forward from there. But I guess I can get a grinder up in there and cut them off before I really finish this up. So first step looks like getting this back off, cutting it down to size, drilling another hole, probably about right there, and hope that fixes the situation. Well, we got our piece cut off, got our hole drilled, out the right size drill bit. And let's clean the hole up and go stick it back up under the truck. Well, tighten up one more bolt here. We should have this thing. At least that one lever on there. Get out there. All right. Success on that part. Now to see what we got to do. This little jewel mounted on there. Like I said, I think I'm gonna take this out, this off, and see if that thing will just bolt on there. Um, it might not, but we're gonna give it a shot there first. All right, so what I ended up doing is like I said, I took the OEM off. This thing did fit on there. Uh, and it's snug right on there like it's supposed to, just like the OEM one. So, uh, move this the shifter up to right there. Spread this out just a little bit. Slid that nut in there. And just ran it down on there like it was factory. Think about sticking a bolt through here and just closing that gap up a little bit so it really squeezes on that. Next. I gotta wait for somebody to get here so I can start adjusting the rod. Somebody just to shift the darn thing. Let's make sure it's got all the gears. All right. As I get that done, we'll see the finished product. Lars is here. He helped me get it all lined up. Let him count the gears. Looks like we got them all. Bang, bang, oh, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. So 
Yeah, we'll show you what's going on up top here in a minute. This thing is real close between gears. Okay, so here's what we got up here so far. While well, Gomez was messing with this thing was way loose. We had to readjust that under there. That's the reason that boot's not fastened down. But the 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 shift on this just it's tight. I mean, it's real close together. I'm on a couple more. All right. So there you go. I just got to get a knob at rattling and drive me crazy. <laughs> huh. That would be the same way. Ah. Uh. <laughs> there you go. Floor shift installed and working properly. I'm just going to have to practice shifting that thing because it's like, bap, just barely. <laughs> anyway, hope you got something out of this. If you didn't, sorry. Do better next time. Uh, everybody home safe. Watch out for the loose flood nuts. We got to get this thing down off these ramps now. We'll see you on the next one.